So they'll be calling you a radical son of Cassandra, does it again, and no one will pay attention and no one will listen. So they played their game this morning. They opened the market just enough for the computers to play their game. They halted it. They blocked the gate. You're not getting your 401k out if you want it out. So listen to me. This is important. Floor construction hasn't even opened. It's going to go, you're probably going to get delisted. They're going to go. They'll be filing bankruptcy, I think, soon. Uh, Utah, nice investment on their little nuclear reactors. G's headed back to 666 probably today. You know, oh, I hope there's some guys that freaking shorted the market and played some puts. I mean, my God, I really am Cassandra. You know, I've been fighting for my life. Cancer, you know, it wiped me out. I mean, think about my place in time, our place in time, we. So the CDC is saying they feel that this is going to be at least an eight-week episode of this coming across. Now, the hoarding mentality is insane and ridiculous. Look, everybody's probably going to get it anyway. As it passes through the human immune system, that's your defense, the world's defense. Now, I understand, you know, slowing the flow. I get that. But the hoarding mentality, now, cash, this is important. Europe's banned cash. In fact, they're burning it. They'll reissue it. So don't use cash. If you're going to the store, that's where you're going to get it. It's the dirtiest thing you could possibly do. The germ passer of all is cash. You know, so uh, your gold and your silver deflation going to happen. Uh, we're going to start to see real estate values drop, and I'll tell you why. Two months is all you need in the United States for people to start mitching mortgage payments and rent payments in droves because, you know, we're talking 60% of the United States population is two weeks away from bankruptcy. It's going to expose the underbelly of the debtor nation that we live in and the Ponzi scheme that people live in and the leverage they live in. So, you know, limits off. They're playing their game. They shut the market. They're not going to let you out of your 401k. And by the way, the market's lower right now than when Trump took office. And so all these trumpets that went in, <laughs> I remember when they bought their silver because Obama got in and the gold at 40. And what's silver? 13. By the way, gold will be in the next shoe to drop. My guess, gold 200, silver 5. What's my price target on the Dow? Now, I think we'll see how this plays out, but this is, you know, the hedge funds are going to play a game. These corrupt and Trump dumped 700, you heard me, 700 billion into the banker's hands again this morning. And it'll trickle down. You'll get it. Yeah. Yeah, when hell freezes over. Same old trickle down fucking economics for 40 years. Debtor nation. Tax the future. Give to my friends. So the game's on. Limits off. And, oh, this is an overreaction in the market? No, it's not. This is a real reaction. The overreaction was the bubble up from 20,000 to 29, which is was totally a fairy tale fallacy. We love Trump, and our Lord and Savior. We love Obama. Fucking same looting. This is class warfare they waged for 40 years, and it was invisible. <laughs> kind of like this germ. The thing that kills me about this is you weren't worried about Fukushima, the radioisotopes coming off it, which are killers, deadly. Which, by the way, this is not mutually exclusive. The Fukushima disaster and this virus, I call it the Fukushima flu. Well, we know it's a mutation. Did it come from Fukushima? Came from a fish market caught near Fukushima. By the way, Japan, the one reactor they were going to reopen, they come out somewhere and say, uh-uh, none of these. They'll cancel the Olympics, by the way. These are, I mean, you think about the powers there be. Kobe. Kobe means great. They named it Kobe for a reason. Japanese word for great. That deaf at Kobe Bryant will talk about a sign because Kobe Bryant will talk about a... Not, I'm not talking about his basketball, a star. That dude was freaking had an intense light and fire in him like no other. Whoa. So, I mean, stand tuned. They're fucking you. And by the way, your gold and silver ain't going to save you. And <laughs> my favorite's your gun. So when they declare martial law, which they have already done, you're blown. I'm going to get people buying guns that don't even know how to shoot a gun. Do you know what kind of pressure is in a situation to actually use a gun, what it does to the human mind? Study after study has proven the person 
who has the gun is then the one that ends up dead. Because you get into a situation of life, and you're not going to get into one. Nobody wants to steal your Walmart shirt. You've been socially engineered into that. <laughs> what it does is when they, you know, the military presence, they've already declared martial law. You know, you can hunker down in your house with your gun. Nobody's going to come in your house and send because they're going to ration food. If it ever gets to that, which looks like it'll probably come to that. You know, the hoarders. <laughs> uh, you quit living a long time ago. So... Stay in tune. We'll get through this. We will survive. I, we, you, we will survive. We'll get through this. Oh, we're all fucking socialists now, aren't we? <laughs> Me, me, American, exposing this selfish freak show. Paranoia will destroy you.